Okay, folks, so I already did a video here showing you how to cure ick with garlic. Um, and I did the garlic treatment, and quite quickly it did improve the fish very well. And they're all still alive. However, it did linger on just a little bit for a while. So I decided to take drastic measures to speed things up. You've probably all heard of salt dipping, because ick, freshwater ick, cannot live in salt water. Kills them. Kills them quite fast. And vice versa. Salt water ick can't live in fresh water for very long. It kills it very fast. So I'm going to show you how to salt dip or salt treat your cichlid tank and your cichlids without stressing them out. You leave them in the tank and they actually seem to quite enjoy the experience. That way it doesn't stress them out. As of course, as you know, stressing fish out that are sick only makes it worse. So I'll show you how to do that. First thing I'm going to do, this is a 100 gallon, 6 foot tank, is I'm going to drain the water down to about there. Just enough to keep them comfortably swimming, but as much water as I can take out without stressing the fish too much. I'll go ahead and do that right now and then show you exactly what to do afterwards. Okay, so now I've got the water level down to where I want it. As you can see, it's very shallow, but there's still enough room for the fish to swim comfortably in it. So that's a 100 gallon tank, so there's probably now about 25 to 30 gallons of water in it. More like 25, using the uh, ornaments as displacement as well. Now, one thing you want to know probably one of the most important things you want to know is the salt you use has to be or what you want to use is real ocean water salt um, or synthetic but whatever it is it has to be designed for aquariums this is the same kind of salt that you would put in an aquarium when you're creating a reef or marine tank don't use iodized salt table salt rock salt salt that you would buy from from the store to uh, thaw the ice in your driveway. It has to be aquarium salt. Now I'm using about a half, a little bit more than a half of an ice cream bucket full of, uh, full of salt. So I guess that's a little more than a half a gallon worth of the salt. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour that in the small amount of water that I've got directly into the water. Now as you can see, that's quite a significant splash of salt. And it even creates like a distortion in the water as you see it mixing. Now it sits in the bottom and that's not too big of a deal you'll see that some of the fish even come up and rub themselves in it. It's almost like they're taking some kind of pleasure in it. Maybe they sense the fact that it's, bad, that it's good for them. Let it sit there for a little while, but give it a little bit of an agitation with your hand. Mix it up. And now the fish are in what's not far off, a salt level as salty as the ocean. Now they're now being bathed in that and these are not saltwater fish so that would undeniably kill them. However they are capable of handling, handling brackish water. Brackish water being in between ocean water and in between fresh water. Somewhere at the mouth of a river that would happen in nature. So you can't let them live in this environment for long. Almost instantly the parasites an ick will be killed in the water and off the fish. However, the fish can endure that for a given period of time. But you, what you want to do is pretty much immediately start putting fresh water back into the tank to bring it up to a mild brackish amount of salt. Now in my situation, I am lucky enough to have my tap, which I actually did set up my tank deliberately it's behind there so it can reach into the tank. So what you want to do is get a hose or something that you can connect to your tap 
If you really have to, you can do it bucket by bucket, but that takes a lot of work. And adjust the level so that you get it fairly warm. More on the warmer side than you would normally have for an aquarium, because warm water also kills off the air. So now I'm filling the tank back up with fresh water. Now I'm doing it directly out of my tap and fortunately where I live there's not a lot of chemical or chlorine or harsh things in the water to harm the fish. And also the way that I'm injecting it down like this in a castating manner also allows the uh, chlorine that is in there to escape in a gaseous form. Now if you're not so lucky then what you want to do is slowly add drips of chlorine and water conditioner a chlorine neutralizer to make sure that the tap water doesn't kill your fish. Like I said, I don't have to do that. I've done it for the last 15 years directly from the tap and it's never harmed my fish. So anyway, the rate that I'm pumping it in, it should fill the tank within about 20 to 30 minutes and that way the fish did not have to endure salt water for too long. However, I guarantee you it has killed at least 99% of the parasites. Now the truth is, I've already done this treatment once and two days later, almost every sign of ick was gone. However, there was a tiny, tiny little bit on a couple of their uh, rear fins. So I decided to do the treatment again. And not to mention an opportunity to show you on video how it's done. This serves uh, another purpose of making sure that you've killed off all of the parasites. I recommend doing it twice. Even once you've cured the ick, about a week later, do it again just to be sure. So I let it fill up and then I left it overnight so the water could settle, cloudiness could go away. And as you can see, the fish are doing just fine. There's no fatalities. The fish don't seem too stressed and it worked well. So that's how you can salt treat or salt dip your cichlids without having any, any deaths or any stress. And also, I'm going to mention here the goldfish. Probably a lot of you have already made nasty comments, as unfortunately is popular in the aquarium world, about having a goldfish in with cichlids. Well, that's because you didn't watch the whole video. For my explanation, that is actually a feeder goldfish. I put it in there with about a hundred other feeder goldfish that were a half an inch long. Most of them got eaten, some of them grew a little bit bigger and then got eaten, but then finally this last survivor grew too big to be eaten and then he just continued growing. He's living quite comfortably in there and I'm going to leave him in there because he filters and sifts through the dirt and the sand and cleans it up. So anyway, the main point of this video was to show you how to give a salt dip for cichlids to uh, kill the ick. Thanks for watching. Good luck.